Good afternoon. Today we are looking at this old Philips radio receiver. Um, it's a tube based as you can see at the front. Uh, a friend of mine basically asked me if I could look into this to see if I could add Bluetooth to it because uh, while well, restoring this thing is way above my pay grade. As you can see here, the dial has all the names of the, well, basically of the big cities in Europe. Uh, so you can dial into a specific city, which is nice. And on the back, there is, uh, well, it's, it's still pretty original shape. You can hook up some external stuff. Uh, there's the type number or the serial number. And I have no clue what this is, but this is probably with them, if you have big antennas outside. And this is a weird thing. It's also there. You can basically stick it out a bit. It rotates if you turn some dials. I have no clue what it does. It's probably an antenna. And through the grill, you can see the speakers, which are actually in pretty decent shape for the age. I was quite surprised at that. Uh, we'll look into that further when we open up the back. So we're going to use this small amplifier. Uh, I got it from AliExpress. Uh, we can basically just hook up both speakers and then it just connects by looking nothing fancy. So here it is with the back off. You can see lots of tubes on the right, a really beefy uh, transformer. And in the middle you can see the eye, which actually indicates if you have good reception. And, yeah, and down there is the dial. We should probably be adding some light to that to make it shine uh, like it used to do. Yeah, all of this is just going to be kept in. Uh, if somebody in the future wants to restore it back to original, uh, yeah, they can. This, this is a bit above my pay grade. Yeah, here you can see the, uh, the thing that rotates. <laughs> it still works. I have no clue what it does. We're going to keep it. So for the dial lights, I picked up this really cheap uh, warm white LED strip. Uh, it has a USB plug, which is nice because the power supply I'm going to be using for the amp actually has a USB out. That means we can just have one power cord to power everything. So here's the test fit of the lights. As you can see, we do need some uh, double-sided tape if we want to mount it here. But if you now look at the front, it already looks amazing. So now it's time for some badly soldering. Because both speakers are actually pretty big, I decided to just put one on the left channel and one on the right. Uh, originally, of course, uh, there's a tweeter and there's a woofer on these things. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to see if that works. So somebody suggested in the comments that I should use Flux to actually desolder these old connections. So I'll do that next time. <laughs> Just heat and pulling is also working fine here. And now the woofer is going to get the same treatment. Uh, there's actually a contact strip on the back that actually connects the woofer to the tweeter. So we're going to break that connection as well. And like I said, if somebody wants to restore this uh, radio to its original glory, uh, just putting back the speaker wires will make it original again. Well, you, you probably will also need to do a lot of work on the rest of the chassis, I imagine. Yeah, and that was just a matter of soldering some new wires to the existing speaker, and I'm running them to our amp. Um, there's a lot of space in the chassis, so we're going to put our amp and our power brick on the left side and just tuck them in between the old chassis and the side of the case. Uh, it's not going to be warm, uh, but it also means that it won't be chugging around very much. Uh, this thing is very heavy, so you won't be <laughs> logging it around <laughs> anyways. So it just can stay there safely. And so now for some destructive blasting. Yeah, this strip had some plastic inlay or bakelite inlay probably. 
that was just chipping all over the place. So it was really brittle, so I removed all the loose parts. And then I used just a pen to uh, color in the strip, which made it look really nice. If you want, you can just use alcohol to remove it in the future, if you uh, desire to release the work properly. But for now, for me, this works fine. And then after some cleaning, deep cleaning, you get this. Yeah, so of course, it's hard for me to let you listen to the sound, but if you just look at the display, it just looks amazing. Uh, it works really well. Uh, the sound coming out of the speakers is actually much better than I uh, anticipated. So the speakers are just really good. On the back, you do have some lights shining through, but that's fine. And there's now a new power cord. The old one is just curled up inside. And you can just see where the adapter is laying together with the uh, yeah, so we gave this radio a bit of a second chance in life to actually be used. And uh, my friend's very happy with the result. And so am I. See you next time.